Hello everyone. Welcome back to X Machines channel. Recently, the German Chancellor has personally spoken about the maintenance of a turbine of the Nord Stream 1 gas pipeline, that has been completed and is available to be delivered to Gazprom, Russia. This is also a main reason that Gazprom gave to explain the reduction of the capacity of the Nord Stream 1 pipeline to 20% compared to the original plan. So what role does a turbine play for a gas pipeline? In this video, X Machines will explore with you the full steps of the gas pipeline construction process and learn how turbines work. From there, we have a more comprehensive view of one of the current current issues happening in the world. Right now, we are at the construction site of a pipeline construction project of CRC Evans Pipeline International. The industry's largest global group of pipeline construction companies, only CRC Evans delivers the infrastructure and resources needed to serve pipeline contractors anywhere on earth. Here, we will learn about the pipeline construction process. Stringing is the delivery and aligning of the pipe joints along the side of the pipeline trench ready to be welded and tested before being lowered into the trench. Each joint of pipe has a specific place in the pipeline. The stringing crew ensures that each piece of pipe is placed where it belongs. Inspectors check the pipe's designated numbers to ensure the joints are in the correct order. The crew can unload 8 joints of pipe in under 10 minutes. The pipeline route is not straight nor is the terrain flat. The pipe must be bent to fit the right off ways topography. As necessary, the pipe joints are bent to follow the route of the pipeline and contours of the ground. A specialized pipe bending machine is used. The amount of the bend in the pipe section is limited to avoid damaging the pipe or coating. Therefore, the pipeline must be bent in the field to fit the three-dimensional profile of the trench. Pipe joints must be bent prior to being welded. After the pipes are bent, they will be arranged to facilitate the next stage of beveling and welding. This helps to optimize the working time of the welder team. Pipe beveling is an angle forming between the edge of the end of a pipe or tube. When the pipe end is formed with a certain degree of an angle, it is called a bevel end or beveled end. Pipe beveling is an essential step in the welding preparation process of pipe joining. The quality of the beveled pipe directly affects the quality of the welding, so that proper pipe preparation ensures the best possible weld joint.
между докарцем и другим. To carry out the welding process, the pipe sections are temporarily supported along the edge of the trench. The various pipe sections are then welded together into one continuous length or in segments via tie-in welds. This is accomplished using manual or mechanized welding procedures. All welding procedures must be qualified, and the welding of the pipe is controlled to strict specifications. Each weld procedure must be approved for use on the specific project in accordance with government's regulations. While a coating is applied to the pipe during manufacturing, the ends of the pipe remain uncoated to allow for welding. After the ends are welded together, the uncoated portion of pipe is thoroughly cleaned to remove any dirt or debris. A coating is then applied to prevent corrosion. Several different types of coatings may be used to coat field welds, such as two-part epoxy. After application, the coating must be cured per manufacturer's specifications. Finally, entire coating of the pipe is inspected to ensure that it is free from defects before it is lowered into the ground. A trench is dug along the right of way to the surveyor's specifications using wheel trenchers and backhoes. Topsoil is often removed from the work area and stockpiled on the non-working side of the trench to be used in site restoration. Occasionally, drilling and blasting are required to clear rock obstructions in a controlled manner. The trenches are dug deep enough to allow for an adequate amount of cover when the pipe is buried and wide enough to avoid coating damage during lowering and operations. The United States regulations require that transmission pipelines be buried at least 30 inches below the surface in rural areas and deeper in more populated areas. The pipeline depth can vary depending on surrounding features. For example, at road crossings and crossings of bodies of water, the pipeline must be buried deeper. In other locations, such as when it is installed in consolidated rock the pipeline may lie in a shallower trench.
talking about the gas turbine of the Nord Stream 1 project. Eight industrial aeroderivative gas turbines were originally manufactured by Rolls-Royce for the Port of Aya station. Rolls-Royce's gas turbine making operations were bought by Siemens Energy in 2014. These turbines are needed to power so-called driving centrifugal compressors, which essentially raise pressure by condensing gas volumes to ensure smooth transport of the fuel. According to Gazprom, six of the gas pumping units at Port of Aya have a capacity of 52 MW, MW, each, while two units have a capacity of 27 MW each. In addition, there are four spare turbines on site to make sure the station keeps pumping if some equipment has to leave the site for maintenance, which usually happens every two to three years, a person familiar with the matter said. Two of the six large units may stay idle without reducing the station's capacity, according to a source familiar with how the station operates. Gazprom did not reply to repeated questions about Nord Stream 1 operations. Understandably a lot of people are saying this is just the Russians making excuses while they put pressure on the European energy market, Jonathan Stern, distinguished research fellow at the Oxford Institute for Energy Studies, said. That is entirely possible because we just don't know enough from either Siemens or Gazprom about the maintenance schedule. The problem is that neither side is giving us the information we need. Θα ακουμπήσει από εδώ, ούτε μπροστά, ούτε...